Welcome all. Today we will learn about plants. So let's begin. Plants are important part of nature. We can see various types of plants in our surrounding. Most of the plants are green in color. They are of different shapes and sizes. They can live on land and in water. Plants are very useful to us and we get many things from plants such as food, clothes, shelter, wood, paper, etc. Some plants are also used for making medicines and perfumes. Most of our food that we eat like fruits, vegetables, cereals, pulses, etc. comes from plants. We eat roots, leaves, stems, flowers and fruits of plants. Plants also make air pure. We are surrounded by different types of plants around us. Let us take a look at these types. Herbs Herbs are small plants with soft stem. They are known for their aromatic and medicinal usages. Parsley, basil, sage, mint, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves, cilantro and oregano are some examples of herbs. Shrubs Shrubs are bushy plants. They are also small plants with hard stem and branches. Tulsi, rose, jasmine are some examples of shrubs. Trees Trees are big plants. They have strong stem called trunk. They have strong branches too. Some trees lose their leaves in the fall while some have leaves all year round. Mango tree, coconut tree, neem tree are some examples of trees. Here's a fun fact. Banyan tree is the national tree of India. Climbers Climbers are weak plants. It cannot stand on its own. It climbs onto something for support. Grapevine, peas, cucumbers, money plant are some examples of climbers. Creepers Plants with weak stem that cannot stand upright and spread on ground are called creepers. Pumpkin and watermelon plants are examples of creepers. Water plants or aquatic plants Plants which grow in water are called water plants like lotus, water lily, water hyacinth, etc. Desert plants These plants grow in desert or in very dry places where there is scarcity of water. They have thorns and long roots. Cactus, asparagus, prickly pear are some examples of desert plants. Weeds Weed plants are undesired plants. They can grow and spread anywhere without any care. They cause harm to crops as they extract water and minerals from soil meant for crops. They can be removed manually or by using herbicides. Parts of a plant Plant is divided into two parts, root system and shoot system. Root system is below the soil and comprises of root, whereas shoot system is the part above the soil and comprises of stem, leaf, flower and fruit. Now let us learn about these parts in details. Root Root lies below the surface of the soil and holds the plant firmly in place. Its main function is to absorb water and nutrients for the plant. It stores food and nutrients and provides support to the plant. Roots of many plants are eaten as food such as beetroot, radish, carrot, etc. Stem 
stem supports the branches leaves flowers and fruits and connects them with the root it holds the plant upright it carries water and minerals from the root to the leaves and takes the food back down the plant to be distributed and stored stems of many plants are eaten as food such as potato ginger asparagus celery etc leaves leaves are of different shapes sizes and texture attached to a stem some leaves are white and hairy whereas some are small and shaped like needles green leaves prepare food for plants hence leaves are called food factory of plants leaves of many plants are eaten as food such as spinach cabbage lettuce etc flowers flowers are the most attractive part of a plant they have different physical structure color and scent flowers are widely used for decoration and for making garlands and perfumes some of the common flowers are lotus rose marigold jasmine sunflower hibiscus etc flowers that we eat are broccoli and cauliflower fruit fruit is a fleshy or dry ripened part of a plant enclosing the seed or seeds some of the fruits that we eat are orange mango apple grapes etc seed the hard part inside the fruit is called seed most plants grow from seeds some fruit seeds we eat are pomegranate banana fig guava kiwi grapes etc but we do not eat seeds of apple chiku and many other fruits here's another fun fact strawberry is the only fruit that bears its seeds on the outside isn't it fun now what do plants need plants are living organisms and just like us they also need food for growth Plants prepare their own food. The necessary ingredients plants need to make their food are first sunlight. Leaves absorb sunlight as required by the plant. Some plants need more sunlight and some need less. There are plants that need shade as they require very limited amount of sunlight. Second, sufficient water. Adequate water is required for the healthy growth of plants. Too much or too little water will harm the plants and plant may die. Plants absorb water by roots. The amount of water needed varies between all types of plants. Third, adequate air and temperature. Plants take in carbon dioxide through leaves and give out oxygen. The plants should be around little wind to help sustain their structural components. Fourth, rich soil. Plants derive nutrients or minerals that they need from the soil where they are planted. These minerals are absorbed by the roots. Fifth, space plants need sufficient space to grow and expand their roots to bind them to the ground overcrowded plants are more likely to die here's one more fun fact there are plants which don't prepare their own food but instead kill insects and flies for food these plants are called meat eating plants isn't it interesting now let's do a quick revision of everything we have learned so far match the fruit and vegetables to the part of the plant potato is a stem apple is a fruit spinach are leaves beetroot is a root cauliflower is a flower and peas are seed now tell me 
which part of the plant is called the food factory of plant any guesses leaves leaves prepare the food for plants so they are also called kitchen or food factory of plant if you like this video please like and share and for more such videos subscribe to our channel thank you for watching bye bye